Let's walk over here and see what's over here. Walk over here and see what's over here. Stop at that swimming hole on the way back. Why not? We, we could. I mean, this is a swimming hole, too. No, but that one, like, people were swimming. Just because people are swimming means that it's a swimming hole? Yeah. Well, I guess if you were swimming in this hole, it'd be a swimming hole. <laughs> but the water here is moving fast. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Do you think we can make it across on the bike? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you do. Probably with a little bit of difficulty, but I could make it happen. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah, let's go back. All right, we'll start with the other swimming hole. <laughs> okay, like you said. I mean, it is really cool, though. Yeah, it is. I feel like I want to take a million pictures. Yeah, and then we never look at them again. I know. <laughs> We wanted to take a minute to thank our friends at thebikerlawyers.com. If you're ever in an accident in Iowa or Minnesota, make sure to call and ride the recovery road with the Biker Lawyers. Hey, y'all. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Meg, and this is Meg's Motorcycle Journey, which is a moto vlog that follows my journey on two wheels. Cameraman comes along with me. If you're new here, we would love it if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you know when we put out a new video. This video is one of my favorites that I've done in a long time. It is us actually riding around a volcano. We go into some hot springs. We ride through the cloud forest in Monteverde and go zip lining. So tons of exciting stuff. We've been talking a lot about our goals and our mission for the channel this year. And we are really passionate about living life to the fullest and inspiring some of you guys to do the same. So hopefully as you follow our two wheel journey, you will be encouraged to go on your own adventures and to not wait until later. So what you're seeing right there is the volcano. We There are several volcanoes actually in Costa Rica, but we went to the most famous one in Arenal. So that's where this was. It's usually cloudy or rains there on and off every day. So that's why you'll see a lot of cloud cover. You can sort of see the volcano and then midway up you see the clouds. But we still got some pretty cool shots, which I do actually include later in this video. So stay tuned for some more excitement. Hola. Stay right there. All right, so we are at the volcano in Costa Rica, and I have always wanted to swim in hot springs, and this is our chance. So we're taking it. On a timeline. Correct. We can only be here for a few minutes to be able to take the deadline. Yeah, yeah, so. Here 
basically cat calling is still the same no matter what country I'm in. That's right. The universal language of tooting the horn. Maybe you'll sleep with me. I don't know. It works for some, I guess. I don't think it does. Well, why would they do it? Hola. Flip flops in there. Yeah, right? I probably would. You want to take your t shirt off? I'll yeah. Hold that. All right, y'all. Here we go. I'm really excited. I've always wanted to do this. Oh. I think we leave our clues right here, right? Like, the drive place I can find. Which... Probably going to be right out here. You think? Yeah. Okay, that was a lot warmer than I was expecting. Damn, it's amazing how it's hot like that. I can't believe how it's hot. Oh my god, it's hot. Some places it's hot. It's very, really hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. all the coins in here. It's like not as high as the hot tub, but it's like sort of close to it. This is really cool. Yeah, it is. We're going for deeper water. Whoops. What? It stopped recording for some reason. Oh, okay. I, I just restarted it. Wow. It sucks because I had some good shots. Well, that doesn't mean it didn't save. It didn't save. It deleted. Okay. So you don't know if we got anything yet? All right, y'all. We are in the hot springs at Arnold the Volcano. And it's like unbelievable how hot the water, water is. is. Like, <laughs> Swimming upstream. I mean, was it deeper down there? Some places it is. It's just, to be honest, it's hard to walk with flip flops yeah, on. Yeah, so it's crazy. The smoke coming off of it. Okay. Let's stay there. I'm coming back. Stand right there, I bet you it's hot over there, huh? I don't think it's hot. Right? No. Huh? Ooh, look for you, Bob. Will you put this back in there for me? Yeah. Just jump. I want to like lay all the way down here. Well, who can? Yeah, I only see the 
Let's go back. Okay. So that was an experience. Okay. It was. Wait, wait. Oh, it's cold right there. That oh, was an experience. That was cool. So now we're going to drip dry, right? Well, yeah, but I'm going to like take this off and put, put my clothes on no underwear in the middle. Good luck. And then you get in there. And it's hot. Oh, I think we should take a picture of that. Like from this view. Right? Huh? And we're up. Back to the bikes, which is going to be another adventure in and of itself, right? Oh yeah. Being stuck in bike shop. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll make it happen. Michael, thank you for doing whatever crazy, ridiculous thing I want to do. Not a problem. Like ride motorcycles across the foreign country where we don't know anybody that speaks the language and stay in random places we don't know we can find and park the bikes in highly treacherous situations. I mean, I can't even reach the ground on these things. I know, it's rough. All right. Like I'm almost dry already. She will drive very quickly. We can put wet stuff in my side bag. I'm glad we did that. Are you? Yeah, me too. It was really not like missing that would suck. What time do we have to be at this other place by? So as you can see, that was a really cool adventure. It was one of my favorite things that we did in Costa Rica. I know there are hot springs in other places, but I had never had the opportunity to swim in them. So it was pretty cool that it was like naturally really hot water, almost hot tub temperature. You could see there when I took off that it was a stretch for me. If you haven't already, the video we put out before this is a review of the Yamaha Tenere 700s that Michael and I rented through Enduro Tours Costa Rica while we were there. They were really fun bikes and neither of us had had an opportunity to ride an adventure bike that extensively before we toured on them for five days through Costa Rica. So this is some of the most gorgeous scenery that I've ever seen. This road was one of the most amazing roads, frankly, that I've ever ridden. It was twisty after twisty after twisty. There was no straightaways. You could see the lake. You could see the volcano. We saw all sorts of animals, birds, lemurs. You'll see some of that in a little while.
So you probably had a little bit of a difficult time hearing. But that was me telling Michael that all of his patients in teaching me how to ride a motorcycle had paid off, but he might change his mind a little bit later. You guys will hear. Um, At any rate, it was a challenge. It was probably the most challenging riding that I have ever done. Not necessarily because of the train, although some of the train was incredibly difficult. And a lot of people warned me before I went to Costa Rica that it was going to be really rough and that the roads were not all paved. As you can see, a lot of the roads were in very good condition. I was actually very surprised. Um, But there are some roads that were not. Mainly in the Monteverde area was where we had the most trouble with unpaved roads and potholes and... Um, roads deteriorating and you'll get to see some of that footage in just a few minutes but the road around the lake and near the volcano was really wonderful trying go ahead go I mean I, I recorded a video yeah I got him on the phone As you guys can see, this road was a lot rougher. Much of it was unpaved. You'll see that there's potholes, there's drop-offs. There are parts that are totally gravel. It started to rain. It got very windy. So there are a lot of different ecosystems in Costa Rica. I'm forgetting now how many, but I think more than nine or something like that. And one of them is the cloud forest, the Monteverde area. And it rains a lot there and it's windy a lot there all seasons. Even during the dry season, they get rain. So Costa Rica has really a wet season and a dry season for much of the country. And the wet season uh, begins in the spring and runs through the beginning of December. And then the dry season is from December through what we in the United States consider to be the spring, but some of the other ecosystems like the cloud forest get rain on and off all year long. So you can see this is cameraman and he is moving. He's really flying. I'm a little behind him. Um, I talked about it briefly in our last video that was a review, but the Yamahas really handled the terrain really well. We were still able to go at a pretty good pace I was a little unnerved maybe a little more than a little Um, something else that was terrifying is that vehicles travel on these unpaved roads around curves up and down mountains at really fast speeds and so somebody will come around the other side on your side of the road or there might only really be one lane so I needless to say it was exciting 
terrifying. At least I thought it was terrifying, but you'll hear a different opinion from Michael in a moment. But we were in a little bit of a hurry because we had scheduled zip lining at the highest zip line point in Costa Rica. Come on, Megan. So for those of you who tour, you might understand, or maybe you don't get that way. It takes a lot more for Michael to get that way than I do, but you just get to a point of exhaustion where you're done. And that's kind of where I was by the time that we got here to the zip lining place. What? Why? It's just like anything else, just like you've been riding everywhere else, Megan. Just like everywhere else, nothing's changed. So, Michael will always joke with me that uh, the times that I am the worst on two wheels is the first five or the last five minutes that I'm on a bike. And this was nearing the last five minutes. And as you can tell, the terrain was pretty rough and pretty difficult. Although if you watched two or three videos ago, you would have seen us on dirt bikes struggling a whole heck of a lot more than we struggled on these bikes. But these bikes were heavy. I think that they are still um, 600-ish pounds. I could be wrong about that. But there's a lot more heft to this bike, certainly, than a dirt bike. But I was pretty amazed that it could still handle this terrain. Um, not much worse, actually, than a dirt bike. But I was pretty much at the end of my exhaustion level in terms of riding. So good thing we got to the zipline place. Hard to say. So I wish that I had gotten footage of us zip lining, but it was kind of impossible. You could certainly have purchased the videos, but we weren't going to spend money on that. Um, but it was incredible. It was terrifying, but incredible. Um, so you'll see us sort of getting ready to go zip lining, but there is no footage. I was told this is the highest zip line in Costa Rica, and I believe it because all of the animals were just tiny little dots so it was equally as thrilling as the ride yeah you just let it, it just got to your head when we were on that mountain and started raining you, you froze just because you were i don't know why i don't know why it's freaking out here i don't know why <laughs> wi-fi I'm not worried about that right now. That's all I can think about. Why? Because yeah, you're, it might be dark when we leave. It is what it is, right? I mean, what are we going to do? Uh, you're the one who wanted to answer. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, dude. I, I'm not going to lie, that was the coolest thing I ever did. I loved it. I'm glad. This is your present, and I knew you would love it. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien, hola. Okay. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, shit. Sure. Right, before we go. Turn it off, Y'all, we just had the craziest day ever. It doesn't explain it. <laughs> we rode from La Fortuna. We checked out the hot springs, which we taped for you guys. We 
then rode to Monte Verde and we zip lined, which well, the ride alone was intense. The ride alone was insane. Like the ride around the lake was awesome, beautiful. Um, Twisties for days. Yeah, but once we got close to Monte Verde, there's like no road. No roads. Really, it's um half paved then like potholes. Like like potholes like the size of like three foot drops. Yes, yes. Um, and still super curvy, and it rains like every twenty minutes. Yeah. So it's, it's like amazing. a motorcycle Don't video twisted. game. It's <laughs> but There's fun. No rules on the road. No rules. No. And then we went zip lining, which I wish we could have taped. <laughs> because it was the scariest thing imaginable. There was ten different zip lines. Like I'm talking about, how how high do you think? Seven hundred feet in the air. Oh man. More? Yeah. More than seven hundred feet in the air. Like Supermaning it. By the way, cameraman on this actually died. Oh yeah. Because the guy had to climb out on the zip line to save him. Like wrapped around my leg, and I was a full leg. So he literally had to unhook me, and I had a free hold. And it was. He said, "You're strong." It's okay. Scary as shit. But it was amazing. Like, amazing. get the closest you ever can come to being a bird, right? Uh, so there was a bird next to me, and he flew with me for about a half mile. <laughs> it was so crazy. And then the place that we're staying is it's just in the cut out of like the side of a mountain. It's so treacherous. <laughs> and now we're in a soda having some authentic food in Monteverde. Mm -hmm. which, it's uh, Jonica told us about, which thank you, Jonica. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really lucky actually that we found um, Enduro Costa Rica because they've been great and they have done all Amazing. the things that we need. Like everything that we need. So we're really grateful. So if you got balls and you want to do an extreme trip. <laughs> extreme though. Get old Ajaka, like, door tours, like, Costa Rica. Like extreme. Dirt biking was extreme. Why day to day <laughs> was, was extreme. Level. Like it was just freaking extreme. I don't but think I could ever get my adrenaline that high again. It was dirt biking or either or or flying on the zip line. 800 feet in there. It was higher than that. It was higher. <laughs> Thousands of feet. I mean, the cows look like this. So. And they, it was the scariest shit imaginable. <laughs> Alright, guys, more later.